Hey, this is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this video, we will configure our Happy Server to use partial views with handlebars. Partial views and Happy are a great way to specify a given component and separate it into a specific layout file and import this layout file on individual views so that you don't have redundant code and copy the code from one view to another. To illustrate the examples, we will use the FutureFlix starter kit. I will tell you more about the FutureFlix starter kit at the end of this video. For now, we stopped in the last video at the point where we configured a default base layout that reuses a default layout containing a navigation, and a specific layout component within your views. Let's switch to Chrome and check. Oh, let me shortly check. Yep, the process is already running for the server, so we can directly go to localhost on port 3000. We configured the last time a base layout that had the navigation at the top, and when opening different views, we still keep the navigation, but you can see that this is another navigation. I mean, it's the same content, but it has another styling than the navigation on the start page. Here on the start page, we have a large background that is behind the navigation and that's not the case on other views. So you can already spot that this navigation part is a good starting point, which can be separated into a single view, which then can be imported as a partial view in the other layouts file. So let's check the configuration for the happy views where we left off in the last time. You can see that we registered the vision plugin, which is required to configure views in happy. And here you go. We already have the configuration for HPS files, which use handlebars as the template engine. And here you can see the layout path for individual layouts that you reuse. And this is our default layouts. Now you need to configure the partials path property to point to a folder which we will call partials. And there's a missing comma. At this point, there isn't any partials folder, so we need to create it. Let's shortly view what the configuration does. The path resolve resolves the path, which is a variable views path. And within that, the partials folder. And the views path is a variable over here, which resolves to the current directory and public views folder. So let's see, server.js is the current directory. We need to go into the public views folder. Okay, so you can see there is no partials folder. Let's create a folder called partials. All right. And Every partial view needs to go in there. So if you want to import a specific partial view within your templates, you need to put it there so that Happy knows how to import and from where to import the layout file. Okay, actually that's the configuration for the server. So your Happy server now knows how to handle partial views for handlebars. Of course, you can use other layouts, other template engines like Puck, which is called Jade previously because they also support partial views. And I guess there are a lot of template engines that support partial views, which you can use in your project. Okay, let's switch over to the layouts, which is configured here, because I told you that there is a hero layout and the default layout is layout. And ah, uh, yeah, there you go. There's already the nav bar and the navigation at the top. You can see that there's a uh, logo, then the links for movies, TV shows and discover. And then there is a toggle, which is the hamburger menu. Okay, so let's copy and cut this part for the navigation and separate it into a default file, which is called navbar.hps. Okay, and with the navbar, we will just paste it. And here we want to import this file. Oops. So importing any partial views is with this greater or greater sign from the keyboard. And then you need to reference it because the partial view for the navbar is directly within the partials folder. We don't need any subdirectory. You can just use navbar. 
so it will import the navbar over here. Now the same applies to this one. Oops, sorry, it's not here, it's within the index file. You can see that we have the navbar here. Okay, the hero head, let's see, it's down here. And we have the image, images image.svg. So let's split that and you import the nav bar again. Oops, missed that. Okay, let's go to the nav bar. And yep, we have the, the logo. We updated the layout file. I mean, the hero layout doesn't have any navigation. It's inside the index.js file because here the large background is specified, which you can see over here. Okay, that's everything we need. So now we have a specific navigation inside the navbar.hps, inside the partial views. And if we change anything at the navbar, like adding another link, we don't have to update two separate files. So we don't run into issues where you add another link in the navigation and it's only pushed into the layout of this specific file. Okay, let's check if it's still working. Okay, it's still working. Yep, all right, nice. Within the navbar, we have three different parts. Let me show you what we have. We have the logo and the title, then the navigation in the middle and buttons on the right side. So let's say you want a different logo on the start page because it has a black logo and it isn't nice to see on these dark backgrounds. So you can't spot immediately on the start page that the FutureFlix logo is like the aperture camera icon. Okay, let's go to Visual Studio Code and change that. So within the navbar, we have this part with the links which can be extracted into a separate view. Let's cut that again, create another partial, which we call enough for links. Paste it here. We can go back here and um, import enough bar links. Okay. So, now that we have specified a new partial view for the links, we still have a single navbar partial view. Let's copy and duplicate that. So we want another navbar for the hero, which then needs to be imported over here, which is the hero layout. And close that, we want the hero. And within the hero layer, we want another icon for our FutureFlix instance. So on the hero navigation, we want a white logo to make it easily to spot over here. And on the other pages where we have a white navbar, we want a black logo or a dark one. So let's switch over here and go back to the start page. And you can see that it didn't update yet. Let's go back to item and Stop the process. So oh yeah, it was before because I didn't create it. And now let's update and see if everything propagates. All right, yeah, there you go. So it has a light logo, like a little grayish color. It's not yet white, but on the other pages, you can see that the logo is imported in the dark color. On the start page, it's white. So you can immediately see it. it's the same logo, but it's a different color. And that's what we want. So you can spot that you can also nest the partials into another partials. Let's go from here. The navigation imported in the layout is a partial view over here. And this partial imports another partial view, which is called navbar links. And this navbar links imports the HTML parts for the links in the center and on the right from the buttons. So let's go back. You can still see movies, TV show discovers, login and sign up. And if we go to one page, we will see the 404, but you can immediately spot that there's 
the link. And if we add another link to this partial view, no, let's go here, the links is, is new for us. Oh, don't need to change that. Let's go to Chrome, refresh that. And there you go. You can see that on this page, immediately the new link appears and it's the same on the hero light. And we just changed it in a single place. So let's review what you have learned. We started with the configuration of the partials path property within the server.views configuration. Point the partials path to a directory in your project where all your partials view are located. And from there, go to the individual layout files or into other templates where you want to import the partial views. So for us, we restructured the layout component to use the partial view for the navbar. We extracted the navbar, which was duplicated on two individual views into a single view, which is then called navbar. And from there, we extracted the actual navigation and the link parts into another partial view. So you can see that you can nest the views. And ultimately, we created two different navbars, which only change within the logo. One has a white logo in the hero layout. And when using a white base layout, we want to use a dark logo. But we still use the same partial views to import the links because they don't change. Yeah, that's everything you need to know. We hope you learned a lot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos because you may have seen that we are still not finished with this views part in happy there's still one thing missing and that's the helpers part so subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video and i told you in the beginning that the future flix starter kit is a sample app we use to implement this part and the future flix starter kit is a starting point for the learn happy learning path visit learnhappy.com and check out the tutorials that are already in the learning path. We will implement a lot of features that you would actually use in a real world app and you can adapt those samples really easy with the sample code that we will provide and the starting point for that is the FutureFlix sample app. So check it out on GitHub and see you next time. Enjoy your day, enjoy coding and make it rock.